Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog, and welcome back here to Summit Auto Lab in beautiful Park City, Utah. In the last upload, inadvertently, I may have snaked you guys, but today I'm making amends. I'm going to be revealing the wrap color on the Audi R8 here in about 30 seconds. But first, if you live in the state of Utah and you need your car wrapped or you need PPF or you need window tent, Clayton Summit Auto Lab, he's your guy. This is his Porsche Cayman. He currently has 3,752 Instagram followers. There's a link to his Instagram in the description below. Go follow him. Let's get him to 5K today. Come on, come on. All right, let's go check out the R8. Triggered Squad, I'm sorry, I apologize, but I'm making amends, I'm hooking you up. We got vinyl, we got protective film, we got tent. Clayton's the guy, let's go check it out. Check this out, so we went with the brushed black. It looks so sinister, the texture is super, super cool. You can see all the grain right in there, dude. It's gonna be so sick, it's gonna be so sick. A roll of this is $965. Five feet by 75 feet, should cover the entire car. What's up, dude, what's up? Pound it. Today's vlog is gonna be a two-part episode. Clayton, he's gonna be working on wrapping the R8 because obviously, well, I'm not a properly trained professional, I would mess up. So he's gonna be working on the vinyl install on the R8. I'm gonna be doing a Jeep mod, and we have the Body Armor 4x4. This is the JK6124, and this is their roof rack. Check this out, dun da dun Well, that didn't go very well. Take two, dun da dun Organization, it's essential. We have the instructions right here. Per usual, we're probably not gonna need these. Let's get to work. Russ isn't here and Clayton's working on the R8, so I gotta study these. So it's gonna be probably, I don't know, probably about two hours or so. Two hours later. Step one, I need to peel this foam gasket and install it right here under this bracket. That's gonna protect the paint's finish. I, I don't like to be cocky. However, this foam installation, that is money. If I could get a round of applause, that would be much appreciated. Oh yes, thank you, oh thank you. Goodness gracious, can I get a goodness gracious? Goodness gracious. Dude, this is great. This is perfect. Now I don't have to worry about getting the sound effects. It's really a burden, because you have to like go on YouTube, you have to download sound effects, it takes a whole process. Faith, she just takes care of it right for you. Heroes generally wear capes, but in fact, they drive, what do they drive, where is he? They drive, he drives a car, and he carries pizzas. I don't know where he went. Where'd he go? He drives a GTI. Oh, oh. whoa. Heroes drive GTIs and deliver pizzas. Faith also drives a GTI, and she's a hero because she ordered the pizza. Oh, we got breadsticks Heck too. Yeah, we got the twist. Yes, the twist. Not a paid product placement for Domino's. Yo, Domino's, like, if we could make that work, that would be life changing. Yeah, the the food vlog. The oh. is awesome. Yeah, dude. Every single food vlog could be Domino's if you just just call me. Just call me maybe. Dude, okay. Call me maybe? Is call me maybe, saying? yeah, call me maybe. <laughs> hey, I like Carly Rae Jepsen, you know that, Clayton. Yeah. Obviously, this would be incredibly rude of me to eat in front of you, but I'm trying to get that paid product placement with Domino's, so. Domino's. I mean, if we can hook that up, I'll literally put a huge Domino's thing on the, on the wall. Yeah. No, we can wrap the I'll car. We can wrap the Jeep in Domino's. Yeah. Whatever you guys need, Domino's. You make it happen, we'll make it happen. Got, I got a little carried away with the pizza and I kind of forgot, but step two is to remove these four bolts. Like so. Next piece of the puzzle, we need to install this up like so. Connect it up there. Clayton is killing it back here. It's turned out really good. Yeah. Yo, guys, what do you think? You digging it? It's starting to look so good. I love the shimmer on this because it's stealthy, but it's flashy at the same time. Okay, so on the Jeep, I added this cardboard right here. It's kind of a protective layer for the paint because I'm gonna be installing these rails right here. To connect these rear crossbars with this rear center section using two of these. Yeah, careful, careful. Yes, very careful. Just, we should just leave it just like this. 
valves for the flap. It's valves, right? Dude, check this out, guys. Looks so good. Goodness gracious, it looks good. Things are getting pretty serious. It's that portion in the vlog when we're pulling out the persuader. These holes are not lined up perfectly, so the persuader, that's the solution. Boom! Just like that. We have one more step to go, and that is installing this rear bracket. To do that, I need to loosen these bolts and drop the entire rear bumper. Obviously, I don't wanna do that, so I've put the spare tire, the winch, and this blanket right here as sort of a support. I'll loosen this side, keep that side tightened, install this bracket, tighten this back up, and then do the same on the opposite. I don't know if that made sense, but that's the plan. Things are getting technical now. We have the jack. I'm gonna try jacking up this rear bumper and see if I can get all the bolt holes to align perfectly. Hmm, that's pretty close. <laughs> all right, so five minutes, it was only, that only took five minutes, it, it really only took. I'm just kidding, I think getting those bolts to line up took me just as long as the rest of the entire project took. We're almost done. Now, if the only reason you're watching today's video is for the dog vlog, you're in luck because I'm babysitting little Sal. And we're just having a good old time, aren't we, Sal? Yeah, that feels so good. Ooh, yeah. Okay, so, we are pretty much done with the project. Last thing I need to do is I just need to tighten every single one of these bolts. I need to put the spare tire back on, and then we're ready to rock and roll. We're ready to bounce. But my goodness, guys, the back end of this car is looking so good. I cannot wait to get this panel wrapped because then we'll get a clean visual of what the car will look like in this brushed black. These exhaust pipes look so good. The anti-girth, goodness gracious, the anti-girth. I love how the Wrangler, straight from the manufacturer, is so easy to modify. I mean, to have these mounting points makes everything so much easier. You can see right here, we have new mounting points for light bars coming to a vlog very, very soon in the future. The Body Armor 4x4 roof rack. We gotta go get an aerial view though because, well... So there's some more crossbars I'll be getting soon as well as a basket that'll kind of complete the roof rack setup. Obviously, there's a ton more still to wrap. I'll see you guys first thing in the morning. And we're back, good morning, good morning. You guys are looking sharp, but you know what's looking even better? The R8. So Clayton stayed up really, really late last night and he finished off his entire back end. This car's looking so incredibly sinister. He's working on this rear quarter panel. Boys, it is starting to come together. I'm gonna now button up the back end. I gotta get these gills back in place, get the reflectors back on, license plate, reinstall the spoiler, and then we'll be rolling. If you haven't seen the last video, I attempted a German accent and I ended up with a British accent. It didn't go very well and you guys were triggered and I'm sorry and I apologize, but the duct tape is back and as you can see, well, we gotta replace this stuff because that's just no good. That is no good. We're making moves, we are upgrading. We got high quality duct tape right here. This is 3M, this is Scotch brand. Yes. I probably could sell this car for quite a bit more now with the fresh duct tape. Good I did that install. It's so good. Audi, I'll send you my resume. That's twice in the vlog. <laughs> Finally, it is coming together and just in time, the hero has arrived. <laughs> Are you kidding me, Faith? Killing the game. We got french fries, chicken nuggets, 100% pure beef hamburger. <laughs> this new jacket. The damn jacket. Hanging off. What a boss. <laughs> it's a super, super technical technique. It's called glassing. Clayton's the best at it. Yes, we made the right choice. I was a little hesitant on this finish, but the brush look, if you've never seen it in person, you gotta find a car that's wrapped 
with a brush vinyl. It looks so crazy. It's kind of like a black stainless steel. This back end is so sinister. We got these chrome exhaust tips. Obviously, we got to get rid of those ASAP, hopefully in a vlog in the very, very near future. But what do you guys think? In the comments below, let me know. As always, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, like squad, be sure to smash that like button. But just like that, this vlog is over and I'm out.